Right now, federal agencies are working to make sure you can get to your holiday destination quickly and on time. Important stuff. Traffic anchor Yasmin Julmis is here to explain how they say they are working to avoid the major travel disruptions that we saw last year. Ooh. Yasmin? Well, right next to what Pete Buttigieg called, quote, the busiest runway in the national airspace at Reagan Washington National Airport, the secretary said that during the Thanksgiving holiday, cancellations stayed below 1%. One of the ways he and FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker are aiming to keep cancellations low again is by holding airlines accountable. Buttigieg says the historic penalties issued to Southwest Airlines Monday following last December's travel debacle help enforce the message. These steps are designed to send a message to the airline sector that if you fail to take care of passengers, our department will hold you accountable. The officials say winter weather may be a challenge, but the FAA is working closely with the airlines to plan accordingly. They've also added routes to improve safety. Uh, we've opened military airspace that will be available for moving north-south traffic on the east coast. We're cooperating with the commercial space industry to limit launches during peak travel season. And we've also up and opened up this year 169 additional east coast routes to accommodate more traffic. Buttigieg and Whitaker say the air traffic controller workforce is finally growing, which will help, but they encourage more people to look into the field. Yasmin Jomis, WPBF 25 News. All right, Yasmin, thank you.